Hey folks, we're going to do a what the fuck here. And, well, it's against somebody who everybody should be saying what the fuck to. Uh, the SPLC, Southern Poverty Law Center. Well, they put out this little article in the Hate Watch. Keeping an eye on the radical right. Okay. Oath Keepers Patriot Group may sponsor NASCAR Prince. Jeffrey Earnhardt, a young prince of one of NASCAR's royal families, and the Oath Keepers, a conspiracy-spinning constitutionalist group, are joining forces for an upcoming race that could help make Oath Keepers a household name. What's wrong with that? What the hell is wrong with being constitutionalist? We took an oath to defend it. We should just lay back. I don't think so. At least that's the pitch and the hope of the Oath Keepers founder, Stuart Rhodes, as he tries to raise $30,000 in time to get a car on the track for June 1st NASCAR sanctioned second tier race at Dover International Speedway in Dover, Delaware second tier. It still is a NASCAR race. I tell you what, um, I know more people that follow your <coughs> second tier as well as the official NASCAR as well as the truck races than follow just NASCAR. Or just follow what used to be known as Bush. This is the first of what we hope will be many races run with an Oath Keeper's car, road, Rhodes writes, in an online money pitch. The potential exposure is in the tens of millions. It is. It is. And it's a reminder. Sorry, Mr. Potok. Uh, that uh, there is a constitution. That some people swore to defend. Like it or not. It's there. On its website, the far right group says uh, donations will speak loudly to the foes of our republic. We're not far right. We're not far left. We're apolitical. We are strictly behind the Constitution. You Frickin' morons. Rhodes, a Yale-educated lawyer and Army veteran, founded the rapidly growing organization in 2009. Yeah, I was there. April 19, 2009, Lexington Green. I reaffirmed my oath. It is comprised mostly of active duty police and military, as well as veterans who worry about issues such as gun control and the much feared New World Order. 
never in any of our gatherings public or private have I heard the words New World Order ever mentioned why are you putting words in our mouth we speak of gun control because it is part of the Constitution it is part one of our unalienable rights that you do not have a control over I go on members swear a second time I've done it at least six seven eight times to uphold their oath to the Constitution and not to obey orders they think conflict with that among those orders ten orders we will not obey are listed on the Oath Keepers website imposing martial law or a state of emergency on a state and forcing those who resist into detention camps no we didn't quite say that um, I got so pissed the first time reading or glancing through this that I knew I had to do this video here we go uh, into detention camps we will not obey orders to impose martial law or a state of emergency on any state I didn't see New World Order there anywhere. Uh, or I didn't see detention camps there. We did see detention camps as such during Katrina. Remember the Superdome? People couldn't leave. They could not leave. People could not get supplies to them. You had them sectioned off like a concentration camp. Simple. No. Rhodes insists his group is not any government. But he and other Oath Keepers do describe the government as critical and repressive. Truth hurts, don't it? The group hopes to raise enough money to plaster the race car with its logo and name and the words defend the Constitution. I see nothing wrong with that. I'm all for that. I've already donated 50 bucks. Looks like I'm going to be donating more because, well, we need to get the word of the Constitution out there. Make people more aware of what our government is based on. To drive their speeding billboard round and round, the Oath Keepers have enlisted the heir to one of auto racing's most accomplished families Jeffrey Earnhardt Jr. is or Jeffrey Earnhardt is the 23 year old grandson of the late Dale Earnhardt seven time NASCAR Cup champion his uncle is Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oath Keepers are those who step forward 
raise their hands and are willing to die to protect and defend our Constitution. The group quotes Young Earthheart as saying, that means everything to me and I'm honored to be a part of this. Mr. Potok, I just have two words to say to you. Fuck you. The hate watch ought to be on you. I am subscribing to this just to start making your life a little bit more miserable. You want to stop hate? Shut down the SPLC. All I got to say, I've had enough.